Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome yourselves back to another video. So yeah, yeah, we got face cams today, uh, which is pretty dope. If you've been following us for a while, we have never had face cams. We just all done it and had the logo. But we decided to do face cams. It's pretty easy. All you do is hit one button. Uh, but we're going to listen to Tell Me uh, Tell Me You Love Tell Me You Love Me <laughs> by Juice World and Trippy Red. So we're going to go and uh, fast forward us listening to that because we don't want to get copyrighted. Uh, so we'll be back after we listen to it. Okay, so uh, Joseph, thoughts on the song? All right, so uh, intro, very nice. I like the kind of like the intro how it just came into it. Um, the beat, like when they come in, it's like an off beat. I think it's kind of how, like it starts, and I really I kind of like that because you're like, oh wait, is it it now or is it later? But I liked it. I also liked usually when you have a trippy red feature, it's not that good, but usually trippy and juice are really well together. So and he, I, he trippy. I don't think he even had like a verse. He only like did the did the chorus, which I thought was perfect because it it stayed more to the center of of Juice World and focusing on him, um, and just as you know, since he you know he's passed away and stuff. This is a great song. I loved it. Easy, easy going onto the playlist. I like the like the guitar. The however it was like tell me the really catchy, really catchy chorus. I enjoyed it. And then second verse, Juice World just goes hard. Like straight up, he just starts spitting. I'm like, oh, oh shoot, oh shoot. He just starts going off, and I was like, okay, all right, all right. I mess with it. So I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I love the outro too. It was kind of like how it like slowly just kind of yeah. was just like the guitar. I really, I really like that too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, it was a good. That was a great song. I loved it. Easy ten for ten. I like the beat. I love how Trippy didn't overpower it, and it stayed the focus on Juice World, and it wasn't, it wasn't too much. So yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. It goes on the playlist. Definitely, one hundred percent. Ten for ten. All right, what do you think, Luke? Well, I automatically I'm I'm like okay, cool, Juice World song because I'm he was one of my favorite artists when he died. It was really it was pretty hard for me. I was just getting into his music and it was kind of like okay, Sean, just don't don't say anything. But it was kind of like Chris Cornell <laughs> for a while. You're gonna throw me off, Sean. Don't say anything, Sean. But dude. <laughs> I probably, it was right. kind of like Chris Cornell. I had not heard Soundgarden until after, like, a little after he died, and my dad was just—he was—he was broken because it was one of his biggest influence influences for a while. I'm like, I wonder why. And then the lead, the singer of Stone Temple Pilots died like before that, but um, he cried cried there as well. I'm like, why is my dad crying? I don't even know who these bands are. And then I, I started started exploring and stuff like that, and I'm. Now I now understand why these artists were great. It was one of those situations where I just started listening to Juice World and then he dies. I just start listening to X and he dies, and it really did bum me out. But it really, um, really made me appreciate their music a little <clears throat> bit more because I saw the I saw the growth in all the albums being bought after they had died, and it really did make their mark. And especially in my generation, their music is a lot sadder and sa sad music tends to fit my generation part of the reason billy eilish is so big right now part of the reason why lord who i think opened the door for billy eilish was so big at that point and is still doing a lot of stuff musically and i mean it, it really music like this fits my generation pretty well that's why trippy red is big as well and going at, going at this song i really did like the instrumental and the overall flow of the song was absolutely incredible i love the flow and Overall, nothing too, nothing too um, difficult on, <clears throat> on vocals. It, I really did like how um, Juice World spit spit facts at the end of the, at the end of the song. He was on he was on a roll. He was on. He a was. Roll. He was. My favorite. Yeah, that was my favorite part of the song right there. And I think I would give this a nine point five out of ten. I it really was. It was nothing too complicated, but I felt like this is a song that I'm gonna have in my playlist, just like in the very middle of my playlist gonna keep my hype going like workout playlists and stuff like that i, I have this in the middle of there because yeah it, it just keeps the hype going and that's what i like about the song yeah um i gotta say i i think i feel like i've heard this beat before you know um it i yeah. i it literally feels like a beat i've looked on youtube before and it, it very well may be because okay. you know okay. um uh, mainstream artists sometimes do use uh youtube beats um yeah 
like uh, little skies with cash money he's on youtube anyways um yeah i thought juice world rapping that was the best part in my opinion um and you know the thing with juice world is he he always did and i would assume will do uh primarily melodic choruses and verses um over just rapping um <clears throat> but he has a really good voice to where i th i do think he sounds good with choruses and, and melodies and all that. like very good don't get me wrong but he also does sound really good um and uh, not fast flows necessarily but like choppy flows you know like this um mm -hmm. so yeah juice was spitting um i like the, yeah the fire the guitar melody was super fire and i'm looking at this because i write everything on my phone um uh the trippy chorus though mm, like i did weren't, didn't, me weren't messing with it not that much no nah, i mean like i feel like juice definitely has sound shined it and even juice's first verse i wasn't i don't know um this song definitely didn't grab me as much as you guys uh but i do agree on the juice world uh rapping part that was definitely the best part um i'd have to listen to this again but um two reasons why i think it'd probably end up, up up on my playlist is one because i i feel like i just wasn't into it that much in the moment like the beat had a fire melody but i was just kind of like you know eh, i don't know i wasn't a big fan of trippy's part it just kind of felt basic and um you that know oh. when it comes to melodies there's certain things that catch you, certain patterns that catch you it just kind of felt uh like he was just saying it, you know, without, I don't know. But I know Juice was yeah. pretty fire. I give this song 6.5 to 7 out of 10. As of now, it wouldn't go in the playlist, but um, but it, but it might. See, um, yeah. yeah, I see what you mean. Thoughts? Yeah, I see what you mean when um, you say that Tr Trippy's, his part is um, a little bit, a little bit basic. It seems a little bit generic as well. And, right and that's, now, that's fine, but. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And. What I, what I wanted to point out, point out, once again, it seems like a lot of these songs tend to go back and kind of, these artists kind of copy each other after a while. I mean, you can tell who sounds like who sounds like what at this at this point, but who's influenced by who. But I mean, it seems like they tend to rappers tend to copy each other when it comes to beats, when it comes to vocals, when it comes to um. I wouldn't say copy. It's just rapping. A, it's rapping a sound. in general. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a, yeah, it's a type of rapping and stuff like that. Type of sa type of sound that a lot of people tend to use. I've heard songs like this before, and um, I like hearing it from different artists because I like to hear their ver their version of of the song and of the beat and what they what they want to do with it. And this is one of those songs. Like I have a lot of songs in my playlist like this one, and it just seems like it would really fit. It, it just fit that's why it fits my playlist just yeah, for sure. and that's why it fits a lot of other people's playlists as well because a lot of people like music like this this is why trippy red is so big this it's is just why chill you know it's chill big and even growing yeah. yes um yeah, yeah. any that's final thoughts joseph um yeah so back to what you guys were saying about like the trippy part kind of just being you know kind of like whatever i would rather him have just like the chorus <clears throat> in the hook than him have a terrible verse and completely ruin the song so like I'm okay with like this like course, even though it might not be like oh it's so fire like it's catchy well, like this is really good. Some okay. of the most simple, at first boring courses, have become super dope to me. Like um, uh shoot, like a lot of few like you know you guys like Mask Off the song real quick and then we'll we'll end this. But you know the song Mask Off by Future, yeah. it's catchy right? Yeah. It's catchy. Yeah. Yeah. Super. The most simple chorus in the world. If I was to hear that Which right now, true. if That's I was true. to hear that for the first time right now, I would not like it. Guarantee, I would not like it. You know, so but we'll see. Yeah, but that song is like so prevalent, especially nowadays. With like everyone wearing yeah. masks. Keep it on. Keep <laughs> like it on. Everyone. Keep it on. Yeah, mask on. Mask on. Mask on. Should make a TikTok <laughs> about that. Anyways, uh, if you guys oh enjoy the song more than us or less than us, I don't know how you could enjoy Juice Wood song more than Joseph. Yeah, that's right, Dom. I'm filling in for you. Anyways, um, let us know what you think about the song. You like the face cams? They're bad quality. We're sorry. Big deal. Okay, we're serving you mine's high quality, quality content. I'm not really yeah, sure yeah mine's fire. Mine's, fire. mine's bad quality. I blend yeah, in with the background because I'm so thank freaking for, white and pale. Um, <clears throat> anyways, we'll see you guys it, it, it's later. It's kind of funny because you live in Arizona, dude. It's way we'll hotter there than we'll it is We'll see you guys here. later. And, um, <laughs> you know, before we go, I just want to say it's... It's kind of sad because now that me and Luke don't see each other, it's kind of hard. It's kind of harder to roast each other. <laughs> we'll see what? you guys later. Peace no, out. It's pretty easy to roast you. It's, it's very easy to roast. Dude, every you. other sentence out of Lucas's mouth is out.